Hello everyone, this is Vincenz and we're playing Star Citizen. We've pledged to the game about four months after it was announced and ever since then we've played it once every couple of months, just logged in, checked the game out, see what state everything's in. We have had a few times where we played for a week or two but we've never really played the game for much longer than that and we now log on back on 3.21, patch 3.21 and suddenly the game is much more stable Everything seems to be working and it's just absolutely brilliant. So we're playing it much more. And this is our bounty hunting progress. We're at up to the level HRT. We've done a lot of the easy bounty hunter missions and this is where the game starts to get fun from this point on. The battles become a bit more intense and you can get some good loot off the ships that you're killing. So here we are in our Redeemer and this is one of our first HRT missions. So it's quite a big step up from the lower level missions, as you'll see here. But we've got the Redeemer with some massive firepower. We've upgraded all the guns to laser repeaters, so all the ships get put into a soft death state rather than a hard kill, hoping that we'll get some loot off some of these ships. So here we are, just in our first big battle. The ship's taking a lot of damage as well, and we're just trying to take down each enemy one at a time. So we're using our decoys to get rid of the enemy missiles by pressing H and that keeps us in the fight without taking any big hits to our shields. There we take a massive hit from another ship and it puts us into a tumble. We start using X to put our air brake on to slow the ship down as quickly as possible. And luckily the ship survives. Now we think should we just get out of here and escape with our life? But we kind of got angry by that, so we, we think, no, we're going back in and we're going to carry on the fight. Boom. Targets are still going down pretty easy with the firepower from the Redeemer. So we just keep on going until we kill all the targets. This is a bit of a mismatch. We've got the big Redeemer gunship against an Anvil Arrow, but as you can see here, he's much faster, more nimble, and it's hard to get a lock on him. He goes down pretty quick. And now we think we better land. The ship's taking some heavy damage, so we go and check out the ship on the nearest landing pad. Systems are going down, everything's looking a bit funky in the ship. We try and repair the ship, but unfortunately, on the landing pads at the moment in patch 3.21, the repairs just don't seem to work on the ground. But looking around the ship, we can see that there's all sorts of warning lights going on. There's sparks coming off some of the components. There's even fire down on the floor. I'd never seen this before and this was amazing. So I had earlier seen a fire extinguisher, so I thought to myself, right, maybe I can get that off and do something with it. Unfortunately, that's not in the game just yet, but soon that will be a feature and I'll look forward to putting those fires out. But for now, we just want to get out of here and get back somewhere where we can repair the ship. complete 
As we take off, we power up the ship and give it some throttle and we notice straight away that the ship is completely off balance and it just won't fly in a straight line and every time I try and introduce power, the ship just starts wobbling all over the place. So at this point we thought the only solution to overcome this imbalance is to uh, quantum jump out of there to the nearest point. We give it one more try, but the ship is just pretty much out of control at this point. Get a lock on Crew L1, which is the closest spaceport we can think of. And then we have the mission of trying to get close to the spaceport without being able to use too much throttle. So you can see on the left there, I've got my throttle set up near the red zone, and every time we go into it, it just won't fly straight at all. So we slow it right down, we eventually get to the uh, space station, and luckily, Flying nice and slow, we managed to get it in there safely. So after this, we realized the missions were getting a bit harder and something had to be done. And that something was the Taurus. We decided to pledge, uh, upgrade our pledge and get ourselves the Taurus. It's got a lot of cargo space, it's got some heavy firepower, it's got turrets for your mates and it just seemed like a good choice and it wasn't too big an upgrade on my pledge. So I went from a Cutlass Black to the Constellation Taurus. So we're coming up to our first HRT mission here with the Taurus flying through the asteroid field, we eventually lay eyes on the new targets. We get a bit closer, now the Taurus has got a shed load of missiles, so we just let a few off just to weaken the enemies a little bit before we get close, and then we go in and use the big guns. Missiles were a little bit jumpy, they looked like they were lagging a bit, but eventually they did hit the target. Ah. Boom, and the Constellation Taurus makes easy work of the Vanguard. barely took any damage. Multiple missiles come in. We let off our decoys with H and we managed to avoid all damage from them as well. There's missiles flying everywhere and eventually we get close enough to take on the Anvil Arrow. It's a bit of a mismatch, a massive Taurus against a tiny little ship and within a few seconds, boom, it's dust. That was a Super Hornet, barely even noticed it, just got taken down in a few seconds. So we realised we picked a good upgrade and the ship was just making mincemeat of all the uh, high risk targets. This is the last ship, I think, and this is an Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. There you go, boom, it's over for him pretty quick as well. So we made the right choice with the Taurus. 
Check back in in the next video and we'll show you how we progressed.